I waited too long to pick out Christmas cards. What a dismal-looking bunch. Kind of threadbare. I should have started earlier. But I kept thinking I could recoup the investment. That something would break through, but it didn't. Yeah. Well, I ain't the type to jump out no window because of the stock market any day. No day of the week do I do that. I don't know how. Yeah, Curtis maybe, but not me. It still makes me mad, y'all. Hey, well, let's see if I can find a card for Trish. Let's see. Merry Christmas, son. There's not many to choose from. Let me take a look at this one. Yeah. Duck, it didn't open very good. Okay, now, I don't know why that happened. So, so you're talking about your cherry nature that brightens up the whole room. Yeah, and oh, I didn't think that's quite the one. <laughs> yeah, let's try something else here. Merry Christmas, son. Your steadfast, calm disposition has always been so reassuring. No, that ain't right, neither. Well, there's only one left in this bunch. I didn't like the picture on this great big fat panda bear. Or is it a snowman? <laughs> yeah. Combination, I guess. Okay. Aye. Aye, there's a, another one of those that didn't fit. Yeah. Your steadfast, loyal, and you know, all cheery, even going. Brightening disposition. There's just nothing here that fits him. I love him to death, but this didn't fit. I love him just because he ain't like a Hallmark card, I guess. I'll have to go look somewhere else, I suppose. Yeah. I... At another store, I'll try Valerie. Okay. Even though I don't often say how much I love you, I'm always thinking it. That ain't true. I say it all the time. I have to or she'd have a fit. I ain't buying that. No. Let's see something else here. To me, darling wife, you've always been such a common and steady and yes why do they keep saying this everywhere I look neither one of them are calm or steady and really they try to dress again Merry Christmas son across the miles <laughs> that shirt and fat he's still living at home and boy is he living at home he's all over the place there and you know, I left to try somewhere else. Meanwhile, card shopping with Valerie. Oh, my, I don't like either the verse isn't right or the picture's not right, but let me, let me see this one. To my special husband. I don't much care for that picture there. It, Little cupids and angels. I don't think he'd like that too well, but then again, he might laugh. And what does it say here? You have always been there when I needed you, always been. No, I can't really say that. Lots of times he has been there for me, but there sure is plenty of times he hasn't because he travels so much. This would be a lie. See something else here. Well, what's these squirrels supposed to represent? Squirrels in a tree. 
Oh, well, let's see. To my darling husband, you have always been the light of my life over these 25 years. We haven't been married that long. No, that's not good either. Let's see something for Tris. I've got everybody else, but I was trying to find something real special for them. Now, what is... I can't get Merry Christmas Son exactly because I'm his stepmother. I don't see any for Merry Christmas Stepson. Besides, that didn't sound nice anyway. Maybe just for a special friend, but he's not really that either. What category does he fall into? Merry Christmas to one I love very much. Well, let's see. That's a nice outside. What's the inside here? You have always been the most loyal and dependable. No, he hasn't really been that. Loyal and dependable? No, I don't think that quite hits the nail on the head. Oh, there's so little to pick from. And why did I save the best for the last? Because we were all so upset about that stock market loss. We got so preoccupied with, with that, we kind of didn't do our usual thing. Now everything's picked over. That's a pretty one there, but it's got some kind of a smudge. I mean, like some kid grubbed around on it. I don't know. With Tris in the card shop. I'm trying to find something really good for my dad. Let me see. Try again. I want it to say just the right note, just the right tone to my beloved father. It was wonderful always being having you there and being able to turn to your understanding at all times. But he wasn't always there. When he was there, it was that was cool. That really buzzed, but there was times it was anything but there. Gone to some foreign country and stuff. That that doesn't really fit. Jeez, what do they got here? Reindeer all over the place. That's kind of childish for your father, but then again, he might like it. I don't want one of these Santa things. This reindeer thing. Let me see what that that says. Well, this is to your stepfather. I need one for my stepmother, not my stepfather. I don't see one for, the, for that. Maybe she wouldn't like that anyway. You got to be careful when you're buying cars for Valerie. You got to see it just right. It's got to have just the right picture. I mean, she knows about this kind of stuff. Let's see. I'm not even through with Dad yet. Valerie right now <laughs> to my special what? <clears throat> I can't read that word special okay they had it all covered up with all this fuzz in the way what is this supposed to be oh some kind of decoration thing I don't like that the glue must have gotten dry on this or something it's kind of shedding all over the place to my special father. Well, of course he's special. How many fathers do I have? <laughs> One special father. Okay, I guess that's all right. Special father. God, this one just goes on and on. This is naming all kind of stuff that, I mean, he never even, he never even thought about doing all this stuff they're talking about. I can't find anything that just really says it. I guess I'll have to write one myself. I always kind of write something special in there anyway. I hate to get cards when you don't write anything special in there. 
just said, I hate it when I get a card that just says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year or best wishes for the new year and they don't even sign their name and stuff like that. I mean, you can expect that from fans and people that, but actually they write more than anybody. But I'm thinking right now about the family type thing. You gotta, I mean, we always write special stuff in there anyhow. We don't even really need to buy cards and we of course you can send blue mountain cards and stuff on line but I don't want to do that I mean that's like something extra that you do this is well, let me try Valerie maybe I can find something better for dad somewhere else it's got to be just right okay let's see Valerie so here's this this one with fireplace and stockings hung by the fireplace. It looks so old-fashioned. If there's anything she's new on, it's the new fashions. Oh, well, you know, this is traditional. But it just doesn't look like something about where you really go far. It's not really a very big fireplace. And the tree looks kind of scrawny in the corner. It's not a Valerie card. Oh, well, just stay inside. my special mother this is but she I could write stepmother in the hyphen I guess but, but really she she's kind of my mother now this is really a short verse this this could just be sent to a good friend didn't really say anything unique there oh, I don't I don't like it. Later on, after Christmas Day, late that evening, Hey, well, it was a mighty fine day after all, wasn't it? We all got lovely stuff. We all got good cards. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yes, it, it was different, you know. I mean, we had our party thing on Christmas Eve this time, and everybody... You know, all the crowd thing and all that, that stuff really went well. I don't know why I felt unusually tired, though. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting old. But don't, don't agree with me there. No, it was, it was a nice party. I mean, you know, and it was a lot of fun with Delane today, too, and other people dropping by. I mean... But, you know, it was kind of an odd year, too. I mean, there was more wrecks on the streets this year. How many people was it got killed? Twelve people got killed in accidents. Auto accidents. That's quite unusual for Stad Bluff. Even at the worst. Even on New Year's Eve or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, and the weather hadn't been really wonderful either. It's been unusually chilly this year. I'm glad I bought some new things, and I like that new stuff you got me. <laughs> yeah, that'll be cozy. This makes the sixth Christmas without my mom. Yeah, that's true. Of course, the first Christmas in 94 was the worst one. I remember the second was still really odd and not that I didn't have a good time and appreciate you guys and other things, but here it is, the sixth one that she's not here and it's still just looks so weird. Yeah, I know, son, it does. Well, that was a, a hard year, 94. In 95 was a strange Christmas with Brett starting to get real sick and everything. And all that hospital stuff was going on. And, I mean, you know, when you think back, there's been 
there's been some really wonderful Christmases and some really strange ones and and even some real dismal ones. Yeah, it's kind of a time for reflecting whether you want to or not. It's such a sentimental time. Everybody's emotions are kind of right up there on the surface, including me on. Yeah. No, Dad, I'll never forget that time when I was a kid. <laughs> you took me me to see Bambi and me and Mom, you know, to see Bambi and that part where his mother dies. Mom was crying and I was blubbering and crying. We both looked over to you to do something to help us and you were crying louder than anybody. Yeah, I, I know. It still gets me, you know. It was almost as bad with old Yeller, too. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Gosh. Everything playing on everybody's heartstrings that way. Disney sure knew how to do it. I mean, Disney himself. The, the tradition goes on, of course, with his company, but, you know, it's not really the same. I mean, he was the one and only of his type. Yeah, strange, ain't it? It's like some people are just born to do that one particular thing, and nobody before or after ever does it that way. Yeah, I know. That's like how it was with you here in Stagblad. Yeah, it was real strange, wasn't it? <laughs> I never quite figured that one out either. Oh, but it was like a fairy tale, you know.